Hey guys, Editing Diane here and today's video is all about getting the plumbing done on our bus. It is quite a long video though, so I just wanted to give you a little snippet of what we're going to get done so that you can decide if this is the right video for you or whether you want to skip forward or whatever. We would appreciate if you watch the whole thing, but just in case, I don't want to waste your time. Enjoy! We have water coming out of the tanks into our pump, which will be sitting here like that. Pressurized water comes out of this, plugs into this pressurized attenuator. Then that runs to the two cold exits, straight through to the pressure relief valve, and then up into the cold water intake of the hot water system. So we've got our cold waters coming off before we get there. As we speed towards our deadline and the end of our build, we finally begin making serious steps to our plumbing, kitchen and bathroom. Today, the number one goal is to get all our plumbing sorted. I don't have many trade skills and Sam himself isn't a plumber or a carpenter and doesn't really have a trade that he practices on a regular basis himself. So a lot of what we're doing, we are learning as we go or using what we have learned previously or have seen others do. I try to help where I can, especially as Sam has a lot on his plate these next few weeks. So anytime I see a project that I can do, I have a go. Oh, five meters for that. <laughs> not really. Better not be. Don't you tell me that. <laughs> our budget for this build has been tight and one of the ways we have tried to keep our costs low is by sourcing secondhand materials anywhere and everywhere we can, including our shower, which is what Sam is working on here. Shark bites, man, easy. This comes with its own set of challenges though, as the fittings are different in standard homes to caravans. You'll see what I mean later on when Sam plums these all together and explains it a little more. Day two, where are we at? Well, we had to go back to town because um, we realized that we didn't have the right stuff, as usual. Um, but luckily enough, when we went into Trade It All, they had everything we needed. We were not expecting that. We were expecting to have to order some stuff in. So that's a win. Um, so now I am adding this, this, this shark bite piece to the piece that we bought from town and then this is going to be shower to hot water system or oh, really hot water system to shower so caravan meets house oh there we go that's a, that's a good fit that was easy yeah when you've got all the right bits, it is easy. Do you know which one's hot and which one's cold? If you had to guess, which one would you say is cold? Blue is cold. <laughs> yeah.
uh, to seal it. So no pre water pressure can kind of undo it. Because they see there's had that rubber in there. That presses hard up against and it creates a seal. But sometimes after time that can period. And so this tape creates a seal with every single groove. And it will give it much more life. The plumbing was all going really smoothly. Things were finally working out. The reason it's taken us this long to start this project is because all of the pieces kept not fitting when we brought them home or only half of the bits were available and there's just been a lot of messing around up to this point. But now we have come to realise that the bits we were so excited for and thought were right are once again wrong. How annoying. That's why we didn't buy those. Surely not. Yeah, they're two different sizes. God damn it. They're wrong. They're all wrong. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've been having a lot of fun recently with these John Guest fittings. Which, John Guest, if you don't know, they are the caravan uh, boat. Um, just like kind of portable clip-on piping. It's this piping instead of this piping. And it has been a nightmare. I think this is the fourth time we've ordered what we thought we needed. And like now we're certain because like we've, <laughs> we're assembling and we can see that it's been wrong. But we've gotten advice from people. There's no real connection between the caravan building market and the home building market and it just creates like a lot of like we went to um, a local plumbing place that we've spent quite a lot of money at and they got sold us parts we had the parts in front of us to compare the sizes and we still got given the wrong thing and like to be honest I looked at it too and it just made I just made the wrong call so can't really get too upset about that, but if you're planning on doing a um, Truma hot water system or a caravan hot water system, prepare yourself for the headache that is John Guest fittings. Prepare your partner for it. <laughs> because uh, at, at this point, I think Diane's a bit sick of reordering uh, fitting parts. No matter, we'll go on without the parts. I'll um, design the whole system. I'll be able to do a lot without these particular connectors. Um, so we are just going to do that because I'm sick of sick of waiting for parts to come in. The idea is, the water comes up through here into the pump, 
which is powered 12 volt. It runs out here to this. This is a pressure attenuator, a regulator, water pressure regulator, um, which will deregulate the pressure so that it will actually come through our sinks without, you know, destroying anything. Once I get the attachment for this, which we're waiting on, um, we'll be able to connect this to here. That's kind of what we're waiting on now. So this will sit back here, tucked away in the back of the cupboard. Hopefully not leaking on anything. And back here, these ones sit here. These are cold water. So cold water up, straight into the shower. And cold water up and then across to where the kitchen sink is. Our um, dishwasher is hot water. So now I need to run across into this. And this is a pressure relief valve. So if uh, anything happens and too much pressure builds up, this will pop and water will shoot out the bottom. So now um, I need to do that. I'm not a plumber. But we get there. It doesn't say which way it goes, I assume it just doesn't. Mm -hmm. I assume it's just like, it's mirrored, so I feel like it's the same either way. Nothing has told me or indicated otherwise. So that is the way it's going to be. regulator, hot water for the sh cold water for the shower, cold water for the sink, straight through to a pressure relief valve, which will snap on, snap off. That's releasing straight through to the ground, which is below us. Now, we just need to go from where we are, straight up into this one. And that's it, that's the whole water plumbed in. Okay, we did it. Kind of. Nearly there. Only missing a couple of components. So now I still need to um, run the hot water out of it um, and split that off so that we have hot water going to the sink, the shower, and the dishwasher. And um, yeah, we're only a couple of parts away from making that happen. What time is it? Is it have we done enough today? Guess we're doing the hot water then. Sam ended up smashing out the hot water in the same way as the cold water lines. We finally have the right bits to finish off the job. It has taken so many failed attempts at buying these to finally get the right size. And the right size is half an inch 
on this end. That's the bit that plugs into all of the house outlet things like the dishwasher, the shower head, the sink, uh, I mean like the tapware and things. So that's that bit. The other side is 12 millimeters and that is the size that fits our red and blue piping, which is the hot and cold water lines. So that's finally the right size and we can finish off the build. Thank God, that was a nightmare. 